Hey everyone, this is my first video recording my art. I've been making art for a really long time, but this was the first time I decided to record it. So here I'm gonna start with the blue background. I just picked colors that I like the most. And I know you can't see it yet, but I'm planning to make a unicorn as per my cousin's request. I don't really bother with blending the background that much. I really like the abstract look of it. Now I'm just sketching the unicorn and it's actually showing up better on camera than I thought it would since I'm using pencil. Some people prefer to use color pencil since they don't smudge but I haven't had that problem on canvases yet. I know people really hate um, vertical videos on YouTube but this is the equipment I had at the time so I just went with it and I really liked the idea of this painting so I really wanted to record it. I'm now filling the unicorn with the white paint so the colors I add on top will pop. I really hate this part of the painting since it's not very interesting but I also know it's very necessary. Next I'm gonna add some colors on top and I've chosen this bluish teal turquoise color. I didn't know how I was going to incorporate it but it turned out to be okay. And I'm also giving purple shadows to give some contrast to the painting. It took me four hours to finish this painting so as you can see it is sped up quite a bit. This is the first time in a long time that I've recorded my voice and it sounds very nasally and it also sounds like I have a lisp. Has nobody told me I have a lisp? Well, I guess I need to work on that. Uh, just so you guys know, this is a 4 inch by 4 inch canvas, so it's pretty small. So some of the details, I just can't put them in there, so I just decide to omit them. So it doesn't look too shabby. Tell me what you want to see me draw next. I usually draw landscapes, but I've decided to venture out a bit since they get pretty boring after a while. I also decided to add a bit of pink in my highlights. I think it just made it pop a bit more. And I also really like this color. I recently got this shade of Quinn Acridone Magenta and it's just so good. I know I pronounced that wrong but I don't really know how to pronounce it. So it will have to do until somebody corrects me. I just scraped up the dried acrylic paint to make room for this white. I currently use a glass, it, it is actually a photo frame that I use as a palette so I can scrape up the excess paint instead of washing it out and risk clogging my sink. Scraping the paint off my palette is also very ASMR-ish and it is really satisfying in real time. Maybe I'll post a video of me just scraping up the dry paint like I did just did but I was recording in time lapse so it wasn't as satisfying. Currently I'm just adding some abstract brush strokes to my painting. This is a brush I got off of Amazon and I love it. I also use nail art brushes in my paintings. They are much cheaper on Amazon than the detail brushes are as I checked last time so I just went with it and it worked out to be fine. Currently I'm just adding some last month shadows to make it not seem so flat. The hardest thing for me in acrylic painting is color matching in which I have to mix the same shade of paint that I have used before in the painting and I would mix up like a bunch of paint beforehand but acrylic paint dries up really fast and I don't want to waste paint. I also made the grass a bit longer so I didn't need to make the hooves of the unicorn since I don't really know how to do that yet and right now I'm just adding a layer of Mod Podge to give it a glossy varnish. It makes the colors seem more vibrant and it also blends up different types of paints since I use paints that are chalky or matte so it just gives it an even varnish across the painting. This is the final product and thanks for watching!